Tuesday, my retirement group for our Q1 update. Okay, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that here. I get a lot of comments about my retirement group. How do you start one? What are your rules? What's your agenda? So I'm gonna kind of walk you through this one. Now the content is very confidential, so I'm not gonna go into any detail about the other's plans and my plan. I go through my plan quite a bit with you already, but my commitment to them is, you know, this is uh, confidential. I can talk about the agenda and format though, so that's what I'm gonna go through. There's two other people in my retirement group. I've known these individuals over 20 years, okay? Our commitment is to do intimate sharing of our plans and uh, during that sharing, the other two are with a lot of love and a lot of respect are to challenge that plan. What's wrong with it? Where are the weak spots? I wouldn't do that. Here's what I would do instead. I don't know how you sleep at night. <laughs> Very common to get into a little bit of debate and I see great value in that, and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more as we go through here. So, we uh, previously, um, when we originally started five years ago, we met monthly. Now we're about once a quarter because we've matured a lot. This has been going on for about five years. Uh, and as I've told you before, I've been retired for five years now. The other two actually are working part-time uh, presently. We do regularly text and email each other. For example, if I'm thinking about with my um, bucket one money, some of my fixed cash kind of money, uh, hey, I'm thinking about buying I-bonds or I'm thinking about opening up a Fidelity account and using a money market fund, SPAXX. Here's the returns. What do you guys think of that? Here's what I'm thinking about doing for inflation. What do you think of that? Um, and, and we just have those, I get a couple a week that, uh, we're having thoughts, uh, that may turn into a phone call. If somebody's having a weak moment, <laughs> I'm thinking about selling all my stock, you know, and then we, we would probably get together for something like that. But, uh, occasionally we'll call each other and say, Hey, I'm, I'm worried about this. Talk me off the ledge. Uh, the, this meeting was two hours long. The agenda this time is each of us shared our plan full detail of our assets, where they're located, the returns we've been getting year to date, last 10 years, our expenses, debts, uh, location of the assets, Roth, uh, uh, pre-tax, post-tax, brokerage, checking account, fidelity, whatever, uh, fees you're paying, concerns, and likes about your plan. So you say, I don't like this about my plan, I'm asking for help, I love this about my plan and here's why and maybe that's a little bit of a sales pitch for the other two. So the other two uh, people on, on the group, you know, they, they tear it apart. <laughs> they ask questions, why, why, why? Um, a lot of times that feedback will start off with, I don't like this. You got too much in bonds. You know, you're 50-50. I'm hypothetically making that up. You don't have enough, if the we go into a bear market, you don't have enough in your bucket one in fixed assets. I'm very uncomfortable with that. You only have one year, uh, as an example. Um, you know, you need more T-bills or CDs or whatever uh, that fixed asset may be. Uh, here's how I would play those cards, is a common phrase that uh, we'd start off with, give them feedback. Um, Typically, in the, uh, uh, another agenda item is to have a, a research topic like, uh, you know, timing of Social Security, long-term care, trust, international stocks, inflation. We didn't do that this time. Uh, this was more our deep dive into each other's plans. Next quarter, we'll have uh, one of those topics in it. This group is diverse. Um, and by that, I mean we have different net worths. And one of them, I would, one of the individuals is conservative, another individual is kind of average, and another individual is very aggressive. So it's a good group where the other two, when you're presenting, the other two have different risk profiles. And they're able to hone in on what makes them feel uncomfortable, whether that's an opportunity maybe missing or a risk that you're taking. Uh, you know, another phrase is, I'd be uncomfortable doing what you're doing. <laughs> um, anyway, um, let's see. 
uh, our commitment to each other is to discuss the hard times, uh, the hard things, discuss the hard things and not let life be your teacher. Life in retirement, you do not want that to be your teacher. You don't want life to teach you that you should have had an inflation plan or you should have prepared for a four year bear market. You don't want life to teach you that. You want a close friend to say, you've got this hole in your plan. You're, you're juggling 50 balls here with your retirement plan. This one here, I think you're doing wrong. Um, content obviously is confidential. I cannot imagine my retirement without this support group. Folks, you know that uh, I'm a degreed engineer. I've been a plant manager. I'm used to dealing with numbers and money, but when it's your own money in your retirement, uh, it's game on. You've got to be right. You can make some mistakes, but you don't want to make the big mistakes that were readily recognizable by others. The vast majority of you, I know you guys, okay? <laughs> I've done surveys on this. You, the vast majority of you guys, you go down in your basement, you turn off the lights, you go in a closet with a flashlight, and you create your plan. And then you come out and nobody else sees your plan. What can go wrong? The result, and I've seen this a lot, you know, when I used to do retirement coaching, talking to over 300 different uh, families, they get caught in this one more year trap. Yeah, you know, I, I have enough money. I got, you know, I wanted to get $800,000 and that solves, but it's not the right time. I'm worried about inflation. I'm worried about the economy. I'm worried about the soft landing. I'm worried about bonds. It, you know, all these worries and fears uh, come up. And confidence to spend. I talk about this a lot. Confidence to spend money is a big deal. When you quit that job and you don't have a large pension and you're dependent on your nest egg, I'm telling you, confidence to spend will quickly become your number one issue. It is for me. It's a very big issue for me. Uh, and that group helps with that. Going it alone, I'm telling you, is, is a huge mistake. But you do have some options, and I'll review them with you, you here, okay? Start a retirement group. I started this retirement group with the other two individuals, people I've known for over 20 years, trust intimately with my information. High confidence. I wouldn't start a group on, you know, from, uh, you know, the internet. I would, I would say, go to people you know. And everybody that I talk to wants to join one of these groups. It just takes somebody stepping out and say, I'd like, hey, will you join this group with me? Will you join? Somebody's got to step up and lead. You may need to hire a financial advisor. That's better than going alone, folks. Uh, you may hire a financial advisor asset under management. You may hire a financial advisor to maybe do a one-time plan with you and have a you know, that may cost you 3,000 bucks and then, you know, once a year sit down with them for $500 and update that. that. That may be what works for you, but going it alone, I think is a huge mistake. You need to get other eyes on your plan. Okay, that's my mission with this channel. Get other eyes on your plan. <laughs> and um, if you don't know where to start, you say, hey, Joe, I, I get it, I get it. I, I don't know where to start. Folks, the second link below is a group called Money Pickle. You click on that link, it takes you to a calendar, you get a free 45 minutes set up on your time schedule with a certified financial planner, totally free. 45 minutes, absolutely free. What are you afraid of? What, what are you afraid of? If you got, uh, you know, time into Social Security, uh, you know, am I using too high of a... Uh, stock market return or my unrealistic on my bond returns, you know, what inflation, is this a good enough uh, hedge to inflation? That Here's what I'm thinking about. Here's how I'm handling sequence of return risk. Whatever it is, call these guys at Money Pickle. If you think you got a great plan, you got nothing to lose. Call these guys at Money Pickle and get a second opinion. It's easy and free, okay? I searched these guys out. I wanted to give you an option, something free, Money Pickle. Now, folks, if you have new retirement, my recommended software, first link below, uh, they have a coaching service, $175. They'll walk through your new retirement plan. My plan is in new retirement. You asked for it, I'd show it to you on a computer. Nah, I wouldn't do that, but <laughs> that's where my plan is. It's on my computer. All of my actions, everything is on my computer inside a new retirement for $175. You can have a coach walk through your plan.
do that, do that. That's it. I recommend you do really all three of these things, all three of these things. Start a retirement group, contact Money Pickle, contact the coaching services at uh, New Retirement. I, you know, that's, that's, um, that's a DIY uh, plan. You've got to invest some money putting other eyes on this, I believe. Now, the Money Pickle guys are free. You, you got no reason for not doing those guys. Uh, do all three of these things. Start a retirement group. Contact a Money Pickle. Hire a coach through your new retirement. Life is a terrible place to find your mistakes and oversights. You don't know what you don't know. A lot of you are sitting there, I know, listening to this saying, my plan's good. You don't know what you don't know, okay? And no, my group is not taking new members. <laughs> this is Joe out.